but let me give you a mathematical perspective that what is how stride works what is the phenomena what is the mathematical phenomena behind the stride for example this is my given image which is 5 by 5 and here is the kernel of the filter which is 3 by 3 I want to use this kernel and this input image to reduce the dimension from 5 by 5 to the lower dimension how I can do that it depends on the stride we can use different values for the stride for example if stride equals to 1 let me first pick this matrix and then use the kernel 3 by 3 if stride equals to 1 for example if stride equals to 1 then I'm gonna leave one column here and then again one column here and then once you reach here then start from here leave one row and then one column and then again one column then start from here leave the second row then one column and then again one column so stride equals to one means that leave one column one row one column one row and one column one row for example if you pick this matrix out of this image and use the kernel and then leave one column start it from here then leave the second column start it from here once you reach at this point then leave one row and start it from here and then leave one column and then leave the second column and then leave the second row start it from here and then leave one column start it from here and then leave the second column start it from here so stride equals to one means that leave one column and one row one column one row one column one row so at the end you will get three by three featured map this is the final result of this complete process it is a three by three matrix but there is a mathematical formula here which is output equals to image size minus kernel size all over stride plus one which equals to five minus three all over one plus one which equals to three so this means that we got three by three featured map if you take three by three matrix with a three by three kernel your featured map will be 3 by 3 in case if your stride equals to 1 here and at the input image is 5 by 5 but there is a mathematical formula before to go for this you can easily know that what will be the dimension of the featured map to know the dimension of the featured map before doing all this process you can simply put the formula here the formula is output equals to image size minus kernel size all over stride plus 1 the image size the given image size it is 5 so use 5 here and then the kernel size which is the filter size is 3 and then stride what is stride stride is 1 so put 1 here in the denominator plus 1 it equals to 3 5 minus 3 is 2 2 over 1 is 2 so the 2 plus 1 is 3 so this 3 means that 3 by 3 matrix 3 by 3 matrix it is the 3 by 3 featured map we have extracted the important feature out of this image and leave the other feature Therefore, the initial dimension of the input image was higher compared to the new dimension. So it is a new version of the input image with a lower dimension. But what if we take stride equals to 2? Let me try stride equals to 2. What is going to happen? If you take stride equals to 2, for example, if you pick this matrix with a kernel or with a filter, and then you need to leave two columns because stride equals to 2. If stride equals to 2, then you have to leave two columns. And then start from here, leave two rows. Remember, stride equals to two. If stride equals to two, then you have to leave two rows. And then again, two columns. And that's it. If you do all this process, if you do all the products, at the end, you will get this featured map, which is two by two featured map. Remember, we already know that how we can use filter, filter on the input image. You have to pick this 3x3 three three matrix out of this 5x5 five five image and then take the product with the kernel. When you take the product and do summation, you will get 51 here. And then leave the two columns because stride equals to 2. You're going to pick this matrix, 3x3. Three three. And then again, take the product of this matrix with the kernel, with the filter. Do the products and the summation, you will get 22. And then leave two rows here because stride equals to 2 two rows pick this matrix three by three with a kernel then you will get 55 then leave two columns again and take this matrix three by three with a kernel you will get 56 so it is a two by two featured map if you remember last time we had stride equals to one so we got three by three featured map 
but since star equals to 2 here by now, therefore at the end we got 2 by 2 featured map. So we have extracted the most important features out of this image. So this new dimension of the image is lower compared to the initial dimension. It is the same image. This featured map is the map. It is a matrix of the input image, but a new version of the image with the new dimension. So this symmetrical movement of the kernel or the filter or the input image is what we call stride. I repeat it. We just saw that if stride equals to one, leave one column and then leave the second column and then leave the first row and then again leave the column and then leave the second column and then leave the second row and then leave the first column. So if start equals to one, leave one column, one row, one column, one row, one column, one row. If start equals to two, leave two, for example, this one and then this one, then leave two rows, this one and then two columns, this one. So start equals to two means that leave two columns and two rows, two columns and two rows. So this symmetrical moment, this symmetrical moment of this kernel of this filter is called stride. That moment is called stride. I repeat it. That moment is called stride. Stride equals to one means that the moment of one column and one row, one column and one row. If stride equals to two, the moment of two columns, two rows, two columns, two rows. Similarly, stride equals to three, the moment of three columns, three rows, three columns and three rows. Stride equals to four means the moment of kernel of the input image where you leave four columns and four rows, four columns and four rows. So that movement is called a stride. Now let me use again the mathematical formula here, which is output equals to image size minus kernel size all over stride plus one, which equals to five minus three all over two plus one. It equals to two. So there we got the dimension of the featured map. Look at here. Output equals to image size is the input image size. I'm talking about the input image size which is five by five, which means that we have to put five here. And then the kernel size, which is three, put three because the kernel size is three here. And then the stride, the stride value is two here, plus one. So five minus three all over two plus one equals two, two. It equals to two. It means that two by two featured map, two by two featured map. Let me just refresh you again. We are doing this kernel trick or this filter trick on the input image to reduce the dimension of the input image. So we go from higher dimension to a lower dimension with the help of the kernel or filter with the stride trick. It depends on the stride, how many stride you want to take. So the more you have the stride, the lower you're going to get the final featured map dimension. We just saw that for the stride equals to one, we got three by three, but for stride equals to two, we got two by two. For stride equals to three, that will be a different case. We do all these things just to extract the important feature of the image. There are some features which we don't need. We just want to extract the important, the most important features of the input image. Just for the time saving, for the memory consumption saving, and also it will be less expensive to process if the dimension of the input image is lesser. The lesser is the dimension of the input image. The easy it will be to process it further. That's what we do. Until this, this whole thing, this whole process, this whole procedure is called the featured extraction process until now. And then moving ahead, we flatten this matrix. Like in a single row, we have total four elements. So put all the four elements in a single column here, in a single column, one, two, three, four. This is called flattening, flattening of the featured map. Once you have flattened it, then you have to pass to the fully connected layer fully connected layer. And the rest of the process is exactly the same what we did in ANN.